Okay, let's talk about percent. And when it comes to practical mathematics, there's probably nothing more important than your ability to solve percent problems. And I'm speaking to you uh, not only as uh, someone who may be a math student. So if you're a math student, you definitely have to understand percent. Uh, but I'm talking about real life, okay? Just think about how many times a day you see this symbol, right? When we're walking through the store, we see this all the time. When you're looking at your bills, if you happen to have bills, or if you're watching TV and you see commercials, you see this uh, symbol everywhere, okay? So you really truly need to understand percent. And I think a lot of people don't understand percent fully, okay? They maybe can do basic problems like, oh, if, uh, 6%. Of uh, 57, they might be able to do a problem like that. But uh, percent, uh, in terms of problems or type of problems, they come in all sorts of flavors and varieties, and it's uh, important that you understand all of this. But we're going to go ahead and tackle this particular uh, problem, and that is three is what percent of eight? So uh, feel free to use a calculator, okay? Put your answer into the comment section if you want to participate. But here's the deal, okay? My, well, my only thing is, um, there's a couple different ways that percent can be taught, all right? So however you learn percent, as long as you know what you're doing and you're not guessing, that's what counts, all right? So I'm going to explain uh, this problem. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you the solution to this, and then we're going to go through exactly how to solve a problem like this. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. I love teaching math. It is my true passion. And over all those years, I've learned one thing, and that is all students can be successful in mathematics. Now, some students are going to love math and take it to a whole nother level, but I'm talking about those students right now. You may be one of them. Those students that fa tend to fail math, okay? Why is that happening? Because they think they can't uh, do math. I'm telling you, you can. So if you're struggling in math, what you need is encouragement, but more importantly, great math instruction, clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you need help in your current math course or maybe some sort of special test that you're uh, studying for, something like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, teacher certification exam, anything with a math section, or if you're homeschooling mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different math courses that span these categories and much, much more. I'm also going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. But uh, if you don't have math notes, well, that's like a, 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 a five alarm fire, okay? <laughs> I don't know what the alarms are for fires, but whatever it is, whatever is, is in a real emergency, well, this is a math emergency, okay? You cannot learn mathematics or be successful in math without taking great math notes. So improve your notes and things will get much, much better. But in the meantime, you can use my notes. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, let's learn about percent. And uh, before we get into the solution here, let me give you the answer. Okay, so three is what percent of eight? The answer is 37.5, 37.5%. Uh, Boy, I would have been remiss if I just said 37.5, 37.5%. We have to have this little percentage symbol right there. And uh, how did you do? Well, if you got this right, let me go ahead and give you a nice, lovely, happy face in A plus a 100% and multiple stars so you can have an extra special day. Boy, I tell you, I remember when I was like in first grade, second grade, way back in the good old 1970s, I think maybe 74, 75, whatever um, the year was. And I felt so special getting those little stars. Anyways, I don't know if they do that anymore, but someone should bring it back if they are not. Okay, so let's get into the solution here. And the solution really is going to depend upon your understanding of what percent is. So if I said, hey, what is percent? Uh, a lot of people would say, well, it's that thing that uses this symbol, okay? It's this symbol here. Well, it's a little bit more than that. Let's take a look at the definition of percent. Okay, and I'm kind of speaking here a little bit non-technical because we don't want to be overly technical about it, but percent uh, is basically a fraction where the denominator is 100. So when we're comparing a number to 100, i.e. constructing a fraction where the denominator uh, is 100, this top number here is percent, okay? So if I write the fraction 4 over 100, okay, uh, this number here, I can express this as 4%. So that's effectively the formal definition of percent. But there's a way you could think about percent that comes in very handy, and this is the way we need to think about it 
uh, for this particular problem is that percent uh, is some sort of part out of a whole. Okay, this is a good kind of construct, mental kind of, um, you know, way to think about percent as well. So what part out of uh, four is what part out of the entire whole of 100? Well, it's 4%, okay? So thinking of in terms of some part out of a whole, okay, is another good uh, way to think of percent to be extra redundant here. All right, so these are kind of two good ways to think about percent. Now let's go ahead and apply uh, namely this uh, way of thinking about percent to this problem. Okay, so three is what percent of eight? Okay, well, three uh, is what percent of eight? Well, let's think of this as a part out of a whole situation. What we're trying to figure out is three, okay, right here, is what, this is the part, okay, um, out of how, out of a greater whole, right? So the part here is three, the whole is eight. Okay, it's kind of stumbled over my words here. You know, how much is three out of eight? That's kind of how we're trying to express this. And we want to express this in terms of percent. Okay, how much is three out of eight? Well, you could write a fraction, three eighths, right? Well, that's pretty good. But here's the deal, right? We, after we set this up, uh, three is a part and eight is the whole. We have the fraction three over eight, but this is not percent. Okay, now why is this not percent? Because remember, percent, the definition of percent is the denominator over here has to be 100. Okay, so like 4 out of 100, this number here is 4%. Here we have 3 over 8, so this is not 100. Okay, so we're going to have to do a little uh, tweaking here, but this is no big deal. All right, so our answer is 3 over 8, but our answer is in fraction form not percentage. We want to express a fraction as a percent. And let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so how do we express a fraction as a percentage? Well, this is basically how you do it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is convert that fraction to a decimal. All right, and then next we're going to uh, take that decimal and we're going to multiply the decimal by 100. All right, pretty simple arithmetic here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first part and convert a fraction to a decimal. So our, remember, our fraction here is three over eight, this part out of a whole. So how do I turn this into a decimal? Pretty easy, all we literally do is take three divided by eight on our calculators, we get 0.375. Of course, you could do this by hand, but that would be, uh, you know, not that fun, all right? And I like math, but you know, I really don't wanna be doing this. Go in and feel free to use your calculator, but, um, Remember, your calculator is a tool, right? You need to be able to direct your calculator properly. Just don't type in a bunch of numbers and hope you get the right answer. Right? That's what I was trying to um, you know, kind of tell you in the beginning, because if you did get this answer right, but you just weren't quite sure, then you know, this is why I'm reviewing this step by step. All right, so step number one, okay, we're gonna convert the fraction to a decimal. So three, uh, three eighths, three divided by eight is the decimal uh, equivalent of 0.375. Now we're going to take that decimal, uh, you're going to multiply that decimal by 100. So 0.375, you could do this in your calculator, you multiply that by 100, you get 37.5%. That is the final answer. But an easy way to go from decimal to percentage is um, also to move the decimal point over two places to the right. Okay. Uh, for example, let's just talk about this real quick. Um, so we have 37.5% as our answer. If I wanted to express 37.5%, how do I go from percent to a decimal? Okay, well, what you do is you go backwards. You move the decimal point over two places to the left. That's 0.375, okay? But if I wanna go from 3.375 back to percent, well, I gotta move that decimal point back. So two places to the right is effectively what's gonna happen when you multiply by 100. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense to you. Now, by the way, if you approach this in a different way, maybe some way that you were taught, um, you know, and you understand what you're doing, you're like, no, I've been doing this for a long, long time, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Don't tell me about percent. Well, listen, as long as you got it right and you understand what you're doing and you're not guessing, then stick with the way you know. But if you are struggling with percent, you know, it's, you know, good to start with this type of problem. Okay, a basic problem about percent so you can understand the concept of what percent is. Now, again, 
After you learn how to do these type of prompts, there's other different varieties and flavors of percent prompts, and you should check those out as well. A couple suggestions on percent and basic mathematics if you want to learn more about this stuff, and hopefully you do. One, I have a ton of videos on percent on my YouTube channel, all different sorts of problems, so you can check those out. Um, the second thing is, well, actually, there's two courses I'm going to recommend in my Math Help program. One is my Math Foundations course. I cover, it's a nice little mini course, three uh, chapters only. Uh, it's a great course for those who kind of want to get back into math and uh, relearn mathematics. Kind of covers basic elementary math, percent, fractions. Really, really good course. So I teach percent there. I also teach percent in my pre-algebra course. Okay, So if you're kind of getting back into math, I would recommend uh, either one of those courses. And I also do teach percent in my Algebra 1 course if you're at that level as well. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.